is my testimony. Given in such a transparent manner that you, yes, you get to trespass into the very essence of my being. Yes, who I really am, my pain, my trials, my tribulations, my persecution, my love, my faith, my truth, my God, the truth. Pastor Yemi at the Firesen, it's good to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Um, first off, we're going to start off with you um, explaining a little bit about your ministry. Um, I've lived for the last 10 years in the Republic of Benin, which is on the west coast of Africa, um, between Nigeria on the right and the Republic of Togo on the left. And um, I work with a ministry called Action on Faith, Action Chapel International, under the leadership of um, uh, Archbishop Duncan Williams. And I have lived in Benin, pastoring and pioneering churches over there for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about our ministry, we're a warfare church. Mm -hmm. And so we stand in the gates of, of Benin, um, raising leaders and just influencing lives and going to war in the spirit, wrestling the powers of darkness over, over the nation. If you do know anything about Benin, um, the Republic of Benin used to be called Dahomey um, until the name was changed. Um, Dahomey means the womb of the serpent, mm. and that is not an understatement. That is where um, voodoo originated and was exported from there to Haiti. And so think about Haiti and then multiply that a thousand times mm. and you've got Benin. So it's um, basically when you say spiritual, you guys uh, deal with spiritual warfare, you guys speak in tongues and... We do a lot of spiritual warfare. We pray in tongues, but we do a lot of strategic level spiritual warfare. Um, Benin is, is like I said, it's, I, I sincerely believe that if Satan had a headquarters, then you could call that Satan's headquarters. Mm. Like I said, the name of the country, the former name of the country implies um, the womb of the serpent. Yeah, and so that's the belly of the serpent. So there's every imaginable evil mm. present there. Mm. And that's where God sent me. And um, I've been through a lot of things as a result of that. And so we just really praise God. Yeah. Formerly, the churches there were re re um, regarded as cults. The Pentecostal charismatic churches were regarded as cults. Um, but over the years, as we have grown and as we've made inroads into the culture and into the society, they now see us as proper churches, mm -hmm. as opposed to the courts they used to view us as, um, because they were very, very orthodox in their approach to religion. And, um, but now we've been able to break those mindsets and we're transforming lives by the grace of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And um, you said that you've been through a lot, so uh, just kind of shed a little light on your testimony. Uh, I've got a million and one testimonies. We could be here all day. But basically, um, like I said, um, the name of the nation is, is called, by translation, the belly of the serpent. Um, I've been poisoned a couple of times. I've been poisoned a couple of times. The second time I was poisoned, I was given hydrochloric acid to drink. Oh. Um, I thought I was drinking a glass of water, oh. but it was hydrochloric acid. And um, what had happened is I mixed it in, in a drink I was drinking. I just blended some vegetable juice. I was doing a fast. And I was breaking every evening with just blending and liquefying vegetables, beetroot, carrots, blah, blah, blah. And um, so I was given the 
was trying to detoxify at the same time, so I was using distilled water. And um, they had given me supposedly distilled water, but it was actually hydrochloric acid. And so I get home, put my mix in, in the blender and blend it, and um, pour the distilled water in, in the blender just to, to uh, liquidize it a bit. And um, just took two gulps, and I felt liquid fire mm -hmm. going down my throat. The second gulp, I spat a bit of it out of my mouth, and it burnt holes on my shirt. That's, mm -hmm. that's what it did. And um, I was in a fast, like I said, and, and I, I, I called, the, my, instinctively, I called my mother, and I said, well, listen, this is what has happened. My stomach's on fire. And she said, drink palm oil. And as soon as she said that, put the phone down, the Holy Spirit says, don't break your fast. Mm. And so I say, what am I supposed to do? And he says, drink some anointing oil. Mm. So I take my bottle of anointing oil, and I take about two gulps of it. And then Inga tells me, go to church and lead the prayer meeting, because every evening we fast, and then we break our fast after praying and um, he said go to church and lead the prayer meeting and I went to church lying on the floor in pain groveling in pain and tried to lead this prayer meeting and by the time we finished an hour later I get back home and I was really in very deep pain and I wanted to go to the hospital and I knew I needed to go to the hospital but um, for certain reasons, something had happened in, in prayer. God had, the Holy Spirit had laid a scripture in, our, in my heart um, that I was going through a, a crisis, a spiritual crisis, and I knew that um, the, the regions of darkness were trying to seek vengeance against me, and God had actually given us a scripture. And so I knew that if I went to the hospitals, I would be killed in the hospitals. Mm -hmm because I was facing a spiritual crisis on national scale. And so I couldn't. And so I was thinking of driving across the border, either to Nigeria or to go to Ghana um, for medical help. And the Holy Spirit said, I should not go. I should just stay there. The second day, he made me go to church and lead prayer meeting. Then again, I was like groveling on the floor in pain. And then that was a Friday night. Saturday, I'm in bed, and he tells you, tells me, you're going to preach tomorrow, so um, prepare yourself. Mm. And I'm saying, but God, I can't preach. I'm in pain. I can't, I can't do this, and I, I have not prepared. And he says, I'll put my word in your mouth, and you just go and do what I said. And so Sunday morning, here I am. I appear before the pulpit in pain and start to preach and this anointing settles on me, and by the time I finish preaching, I'm totally healed, just totally healed. And that's the second time I was poisoned. And um, God said something in Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. If you will serve the Lord thy God, his blessing shall be upon your bread and your water. He will take sickness out of the midst of you, and you shall not be barren in the land, nor unfruitful. And then he will send his angel before you. And so when you serve, God is obligated to work on your behalf, to heal, to deliver, to keep you, and to bless you. And so that's what happened. And it's happened, that's just one out of a myriad of instances where I've been under such demonic um, attack and the Lord has always been faithful to deliver me.